the British government has been urged not to block any bid by Scotland to rejoin the EU's Erasmus Plus Education Exchange programme. The UK left following Brexit, with the government setting up a rival Turing programme. Nicola Sturgeon is calling for Scotland to rejoin Erasmus Plus in a bid to remain close to Brussels. A report from the House of Commons Scottish Affairs Committee, SAC, has urged the government not to oppose. It said, the Scottish government has indicated a desire to remain in the Erasmus Plus programme. Should they decide to continue down this path and be willing to cover the associated costs, and should the EU consent to Scottish participation, the UK government should not block this endeavour, at least until such a point that the Turing scheme can facilitate inward exchanges. However, earlier this year European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said Scotland would not be able to rejoin Erasmus, as a constituent nation, of the UK. A spokesperson for the Department of Education said, the UK government decided to not participate in the next Erasmus Plus program as it was not in the interest of UK taxpayers and our net contribution would have been around £2 billion. The new global Turing scheme, backed by £110 million, will provide thousands of students across all of the UK with the opportunity to study and work abroad. We will continue to work with the sector and devolved administrations to deliver the program. Quote. Separately Boris Johnson has been told US farmers are watching the trade deal between the UK and Australia closely as it will act as a template for their own future agreement, with one boss warning, we are looking to see how far the UK is willing to go. Brexit Britain is on the verge of putting pen to paper on a trade deal that would eliminate tariffs on Australian beef, lamb and other food products. The trade deal negotiations between the UK and US have hit the buffers since Donald Trump was ousted as president by Joe Biden, who has continued to voice his heavy opposition towards Brexit.